guys thanks for stopping by my channel um this is the look that i did today it's a bit extra and that's all right because i just feel like doing a bit extra today um i am actually going to use the kat von d 10th anniversary palette i've had it for a while i just haven't used it and here's what it looks like so i don't know I think I had this shirt, well, mainly because of the rose gold on my shirt, it just made me want to do a rose gold colored eye. So when I was looking at this palette, this color was talking to me. So I was like, yeah, let's just do that. And I feel like being extra anyway, like I've probably said multiple times already. So anyhow, if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I've already done my face. I um, primed it and did my foundation and put concealer on and set that and did my brows. So let's zoom on in and then I'll just start on my eyes. There we go. So I'm gonna use the Kat Von D 10th Anniversary Palette. Super pretty. And I think I'm going to play off of this color here. Um, at the color, well, let me see. So I think that'd be Carolyn. Yeah. Anyway, let's take my Morphe E27 fluffy brush. And I'm going to go into the color... Ooh, Sarah. Right here. It's just a light, neutral color to get a nice base all over the eye. Tap off the excess. And the nice thing is, it does have a really nice mirror in it. So that is always a plus. So I'm just going to dust that color all over. I'm going to go in with this tapered brush. I've used it in a couple of the tutorials. <clears throat> it's a Morphe brush. It's just a nice tapered brush. It's a good brush to get into that crease with. And then I'm going to go in with, oh, Kat Von D and her names. I know this is like her, I think this is like her husband's name. Leafar, Leafar, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go with this dark chocolate brown color. Uh, dab that in there. Tap off the excess. And I'm going to focus that out here on the outer corner. So I'm just going to dab it because when you're working with a dark color, like I've said in prior videos, hopefully you've watched them if you haven't. Thanks for stopping on my channel. <laughs> so, um, and starting with this one. Anyway, so when you're working with a dark color and you're not sure what the color payoff is going to be, you really want to like start with just tapping just to see. Because if you go in there and it's like super dark and super pigmented and then you put it on your eye, you're going to be working really hard to blend that out. And then you're just making it harder for yourself. So it's nice if you just tap. And you do little circles just to get, and you keep working to build it up to the desired amount that you want, which that's going to depend on what you want. You do you, you do what you want. Who cares what other people say or think or whatever. So I'm just going to tap that on there and see how I've built that color up. And then I'm going to start working across the crease and pushing so the tapered brush fits in there really nice but then I always apply a little pressure upward as I'm pulling it across like so. Okay. 
And then I'll go back in with that first brush I used, the Morphe E27, and I'll run across the top there just to blend out any harsh, harsh lines. So next, I don't usually, hmm, I don't usually do um, the concealer on the eye. Like I've already done concealer to cancel out any red on my eye and like the veins and whatever. So then I have a nice um, neutral canvas, so to speak, to work with to get the color payoff from, you know, the eyeshadows. But I think I feel like being a little extra today. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer on my lid. So I'm going to get a flat brush so I'm just going to use this e.l.f. Um, professional eyeshadow brush, it's just a flat brush and I'm going to take my concealer and I'm going to pick up some of that on the makeup brush. And then I'm going to put it on my lid and see where it leaves a mark. So you open and see where it leaves a mark. So I'm going to put this all over that area because I want my lid to be extra sparkly. what it'll look like and you know I know some people do like a cut I, I mean I really wouldn't call this a super defined cut crease or anything like that it's just I'm trying to cancel that out so the payoff from this color I'm really hoping it'll it'll really come out when I put it over top of the concealer and obviously everybody's amount here is going to be different I have really hooded eyes so it goes up higher that's just me so I'm going to go ahead and take a, this is an Urban Decay shadow brush. I like it because it's nice and flat, but it's like dense, so it's thicker. And I'm going to go into that color, Carolyn, and I'll put that all over the lid where I placed the concealer. And I'm just going to keep packing it on until I get my desired effect. And if I tip my head back a little bit, it just opens up my lid space a bit more so I could be a little more precise. Like up in this crease. It's a very interesting color. It's got like a rose gold of like look to it, but as I'm putting it on, it has more of like an orangish, orangish, peachyish like hue. I think just to see, I'm gonna pick up some of that color and then go in with my Mac Fix Plus and just spritz that and then see what that does over top. Hmm. 
I'm gonna let that sit for a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. Then I'm gonna go back in with that dark chocolatey color and build up this outer corner. And then I'm gonna go back in with that first brush and just soften the edge. So that's it so far. I'm gonna go ahead and do a wing liner and I'll be right okay, So today must be my lucky day, so. My lashes actually went on without a problem and my eyeliner. So I kind of wish I would have got that on camera, but it's a pain because I have to get all up in the mirror and I'm like, well, what's the point? Cause then you're looking at me and you basically see the top of my head. So, um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm super pumped about that. So anyway, I did my liner and I just used my Kat Von D, um, tattoo liner. To do that in Trooper and then I put on these lashes. I'm pretty sure I got these in a boxy charm box. They're the Monroe 3D Silk Lashes by Baddington Lashes. I really like them. Here's the box that they came in and they're called Baddington. I'll link everything down below as usual. Okay, so let's get in here and finish up the under eye. I'm going to take, I think I'm gonna take this guy, this Morphe E14. It's like a dense, fluffy brush. And I'm gonna go back into that color, Sarah. And I'm gonna put that underneath my eye. liking this palette. I typically like a lot of Kat Von D's um, makeup that she puts out. I'm do that. And then I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this angled, um, this angled brush. It's super thin. And I'm gonna go into that dark chocolate color that I put on the outer corner. And I'm literally just gonna tap this right in there and then press this on the outer portion of that lower lash line. And then sweep it across a little just to, just to blend it a bit. I'll do this I'll just I'll be right back but I'm gonna do this I'm just gonna let you know what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna use the NARS Rue Bonaparte it's like a cream colored eyeliner and I'm gonna put that on the lower lash line just to brighten it up because I did such a dramatic eye on top so hold on okay so just to lighten that up um, if you hear snoring there's a pug on the floor and now there are other pugs outside the door because there's a pug in here and they want to know where she is. So they're at the door snorting. So if you hear any snoring or snorting, I, it is what it is. I'm sorry if it bothers you, but that's my life. So, all right, let's do it. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to bronze up my face with uh, my physician's formula, butter bronzer. Pacifica Natural Minerals Blush in Camellia. So 
I'm going to dust that on my cheeks. I'm going to go in with my Becca Chrissy Teigen palette and I am going to, hold on, I got to flip it over. I'm going to mix the rose gold highlighter with the beach nectar highlighter. I'm going to go in with these two colors and highlight my face. And this has a nice mirror in it as well. I like when they put really nice useful mirrors in these palettes. Like I said, the eyes definitely came off with more of a, more of a, um, orangish hue than I anticipated. Let's fix that flash. little lash malfunction it's okay you just need to stick it back on sometimes you might need to add a little bit of glue um, so then you'd have to peel it up add a little bit of glue to the end but typically I try to apply a little more glue to the inner corner and the outer so those two portions stick on but sometimes it's not always perfecto so let's see let's see so I highlighted my face um, lips lips I'm going to go in with this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. Does that have a color? Cairo, 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 Cairo. And it smells really good. Mm, reminds me of cupcakes. This Marc Jacobs um, enamored lip lacquer. I can't remember the whole name. This is in Sugar Sugar. And I just pat it lightly because again I don't want to pick up any color from my lips and get it into the container. And then sometimes to mix it, I'll, I'll do that. And then if need be, I'll just pat it in. With my finger to give it a little bit more of a blend. Um, that's it. I'm just gonna set my face with my Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray. And then fan it a little bit, and then there you have it. Little extra, and I didn't even, I didn't even coat my bottom lashes. I mean, you can, sometimes it don't feel like it, sometimes you don't have to. I did a lot up top, so I just kind of left the bottom a little, a little bare. Do what you want. You know, if you want to add some highlight to the brow bone and the inner corner, you so I don't remember what I was saying when my camera cut off and apparently my battery died because it doesn't charge or it uses the battery while you have it plugged in. I don't know, it's super annoying to me. I was like, mm, I don't have a lot of battery. I'll plug it in and be able to get my video done and that didn't happen. So anyway, I don't know. I remember saying I was using my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, set my face, and this is the final look. Yes, it's a bit extra, but that's okay. I felt like being extra today. Yeah.
So, I hope you guys liked the look. Um, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, as always, leave comments below. Let me know if there's something you want to see. Because I sit and think about it, and I'm like, okay, well, I could do a gold eye, rose gold, you know, different colors. But is there something you want to see? Um, any specific palettes? I don't always want to feature just a palette because I don't want to make people feel like they have to go get that specific palette because it's, I mean, it's basically just a play on colors. You don't have to have the specific palette I use today to recreate this look. You can use any colors you want. It's basically just going with the light to the dark to putting a glitter color on your eyelid and you can do any color combination you want. So if there is something specific that you guys would like to see, um, just let me know. Like I said in the comments below, but thanks for stopping by my channel. Bye.